If you're a geologist and you want to learn some of the finer points about how to use a geopic properly, then this is a video for you. I'm Nick Tate and this is another video in the series of Fieldcraft for Geologists. This is the headline version for YouTube. If you want the detail on each video, go to the link below in the description. It'll only cost you a few bucks and once you're signed up you'll get all the videos that are already there plus anything new that I shoot as I find interesting things in the field. Why would I make a video about how to use geopix? I mean, it's just a hammer, right? It doesn't have any moving parts and you just bash rocks with it. Well, yes, but it's a tool. If you use it the wrong way, you can waste a lot of time and effort and maybe give yourself an injury in the process. The main purpose of a geopic from the point of view of a geologist is to break off a fresh piece of outcrop so that you can see the minerals and the textures inside. You might think that's a relatively easy decision and there's plenty of places where you can just bash off a piece. Well, yeah, maybe, but on the average outcrop, there's actually surprisingly few places where you can break off a nice fresh piece with a minimum of effort. When you break a rock, you want to break across the foliation or the structure or the bedding so you can see the relationship of that structure to the rest of the rock. What you're trying to do here is cut the rock, not break it. And the best way to do that is actually to hit it angle on. So if you hit it so that the hammer is angled slightly, then the edge of the hammer will hit and you'll develop a line of fractures along there. And that will crack the rock much more effectively than hitting it square on. I always aim about 30 or 40 millimetres back from the face that I'm trying to break away. That gives a reasonable chance of getting a big face, but if you go too far, it'll be just too difficult to break that amount of rock. If you're too close to the edge, you'll just break off a small chip and you'll get an oxidized face. Now here's an ideal target to hit. It's got a pointy end on it. There's not too much support from rock underneath it or around it, and there's not too many fractures in the rock, so it should break a clean face. there we go, it's broken just below the hammer hit there, the fracture's gone right through and it's given me a nice clean face. If you can't find a point or a corner, the next best target is a square edge. Aim to develop a fracture parallel to the face you're trying to break. Now another really good target to look for is a place like this where a slab's broken away from the outcrop and it's left a bit of a gap there. When you break this piece off, it's gonna go into that slot there instead of flying off into the bush somewhere where you have gotta find it. So there it is. And another example in slow motion. When you go to break the rock, you'll probably have to hit it several times. So you're actually better off to hit it a few times with moderate power rather than once or twice with a lot of power because the fractures take a while to propagate down through the rock. You just got to make sure you hit it roughly in the same place every time so that the same set of fractures get extended down into the rock and eventually it'll break away. Try to avoid places like this, where there's lots of little fractures in the surface of the rock. They'll break easily, but they'll break along the fractures, and all those fractures will have oxidised surfaces. Yep. I also try to avoid outcrops like this with smooth, rounded surfaces on them. OK, it doesn't have many fractures, so it's probably nice fresh rock inside, but it's going to be extremely hard to break because it's got support all the way around and when you hit it you're also much more likely to get pieces of shrapnel coming off the face and into your fingers. The pointy end of a geopick serves two purposes. Its main job is to just get into cracks and crevices and lever out pieces that you want to break from a different angle. And secondly, if you spot something interesting in the ground that's partially buried it's good for digging them out and levering them up. 
One other common use for the pointy end is a climbing aid. Now no training video would be complete without some mention of safety. And Geopix deserves some special mention because when you swing that thing you store an enormous amount of energy and when you hit the rock that energy is concentrated into a very small area. The resulting explosion puts out pieces of shrapnel in all directions. There are ways to minimise that but a few pieces are always going to get through and I've got several pairs of glasses with scars to prove it. If you're not wearing glasses, you're an accident waiting to happen. And it's pretty hard to do geology without eyes. In fact, it's pretty hard to do pretty much anything without eyes. So I do recommend wearing glasses. If you hit it side on with a bit of an angle, then most of the pieces of shrapnel will fly out this way and this way. Hitting it like that will cut it more effectively and reduce the amount of shrapnel that ends up in your fingers. I also put my boot just in front of where I'm going to hit. That also helps to limit the amount of shrapnel that will come back to my fingers. What the pointy end is absolutely not for is breaking pieces off rocks. If you hit a rock with that pointy end, you focus an enormous amount of energy into a tiny little area and the resulting explosion will send out pieces of shrapnel at a very rapid rate. Those pieces of shrapnel can end up in your hands, in your eyes, or any other part of your body, and it hurts. I strongly recommend not doing that. A second issue is the hammerhead itself. Yes, you could buy a cheap $5 hammer off the internet with a wooden handle, but first of all, the tempering on that face isn't gonna be as good, and you're at much higher risk of some fragment from the hammer coming out and hitting you in the chest. And secondly, all the damage from mishits on our crops and bits of shrapnel coming back will eventually break that handle. And then one day, you'll go to hit an outcrop and either you or some bystander is going to be in big trouble. So do yourself a favour, buy a decent geopick.